Okay, why is it self-watering and how does that work? And what the heck is this thing? Okay. Basically, this will lay, see the little prongs on it? Will lay in the bottom of your planter. Now, <clears throat> this strip is gauze. And, well, I'll show you. I'll compare it to, uh, well, you've all seen these. Oil lamps, you know how they work. Uh, the gauze goes up and down, gets damp, and then you light uh, that. And the oil, the flammable oil, has soaked up in the gauze, and that's what makes the flame. So the gauze basically absorbs the moisture, and that's exactly what that gauze on that tray does. So, the way they've placed it here in the bottom is these will get wet after you have added water, which I'll show you how to do. These will get wet and they will give you the proper humidification for the plants. Your dirt will, will absorb, the water will absorb up through your dirt to the roots of your plants. Gives you just the right amount, not too much. Okay, so you've seen how that went in. First, let me show you here. This little hole right here, this is an important little hole. Make sure you put it on a corner where you want to insert this, this uh, trap, the, whatever you call this thing. This is what you're going to pour the water in. Put a hose in there or whatever. This is where you are going to put the water. So make sure it's on the side going to be easy, easily accessible. Okay, it's got a closable flap. Inside this, I don't know if you can see it, there's a float. See? So when I add water, this little black doohiggy in here, a float, is going to raise up, of course, because the water is going to push that float up. That tells me if it's up here, I don't need no more water in there. It's not time to water the plant. When it goes way low, like the very bottom it is now, which is about here, it's time to water. And like I said, that's going to be about 15-day intervals. Maybe less if it rains. So that's going to indicate how much water is in the bottom of your planter. It goes in there like that. Now, it came with these two things, and I thought, huh, uh, okay, what are they? Uh, again, it didn't come with directions or anything like that. I saw these little holes here, ta-da, and they fit in there. Now, I'm just taking a wild guess, but I think it's for support, maybe, you know. Um... I'm not really sure, but <clears throat> what I'm going to do with this planter is fill my dirt to this level here under these. Uh, unless it's just just to support it more, you know, to, if you put your dirt in, of course, the dirt's heavy. It's going to expand your pot out, and these will ensure that it holds it together. So I do think they're just for support. All right, so what haven't I covered about this? It's, it, you can buy it from Plow and Hearth. Right now, I noticed on their website, they have other self-watering planters on sale, 21% off. So you might want to go to plowandhearth.com and uh, load up on those planters. Uh, oh, yeah, the wonderful people at Plow and Hearth, they want to give one of my readers, Grandma Says So readers, $60 to spend any way they want. You could perhaps uh, build your own patio garden. Uh, it's a lot of nice stuff at Plow and Hearth. So this is Lori at Grandma Says So. Thank you for joining me today. And I got a lot of planting to do.